Hi, this is Professor Eric Manley from Drake University. In this video, we're going to build on the app we made in the previous video, the Soundboard app. Um, in this case, we're going to use um, a cool component that App Inventor has built in that will allow you to have it synthesize any kind of text you want. So you can have kind of a computer voice say whatever it is that you feel like having it say. So for instance, this is what the app looks like. Um, I can type in something and then push the button that says say this text Hello. and it says hello and I can type in anything I want in there. I can say I make apps and then when I hit the button I make apps. It says I make apps. You get the idea. We're gonna make that in this tutorial. Okay, so let me get my window out of the way. Um, you can get your MIT AI2 companion app up and running right now if you want. Um, otherwise, let's go back into App Inventor and create a new project. So I'm going to call this one Text to Speech. because We're going to have the computer turn our text into speech. Okay, that should bring up our designer window. Sometimes it takes a minute. Waiting, waiting, come on, there we go, okay. Okay, so just like before, we're gonna need a button. So I'm gonna drag the button onto the screen. Um, this time I'm not gonna put a picture behind the, the, the button, I'm just gonna change the text. I'm going to call it, I'm just going to have it say, say something, at least for now. Okay. Um, and so before you remember, we used the sound component from the media drawer, and that played a sound. In this case, we're going to use a different one. There's this thing already built in called text-to-speech. So this is a component that your phone can use to take any kind of text you give it and speak it out. Okay, so let's try this out. So go into your blocks, and just like before, you'll notice all of your components show up here on the left side of your screen. Um, the button, we're going to want to do something when it clicks, so we're going to drag out the when block. So when the button is clicked, we're going to do what? Well, let's see what kinds of things we can do with text-to-speech. Well, there's only one call block, right? So there's only one kind of thing you can make the text-to-speech thing do. So let's grab that. Okay, so this is just like the sound playing where we say call this component to do something. In this case, we're gonna call it to speak. But you'll notice that the little it's a little puzzle piece there where it's looking for you to put something else in and notice that the word message appears before that. So we're gonna use the call block to speak something, but we actually have to give it one more thing the message that it's supposed to speak. Now what we could do is look over here in the built-in. You'll notice that we want it to speak some text. So there's a text drawer and there's a there's a, uh, a block that looks like this. This is just like any text you want. So you can say, uh, you know, you can have it say programming is fun. Okay, so we can put any kind of text we want in here and say that's the message. That's the message that you should speak. Okay, let's just try this out and see how it goes. So go ahead and connect to your AI companion. I'm going to do that with mine right here. So I'm opening up MIT uh, App Inventor 2 companion. And I'm going to scan this QR code. There we go. I've got it. All right. And let's see. We're over here. And we'll give it a second. It'll connect. There it is. Okay, now when I click this button, programming is fun. It says programming is fun. Programming is fun. That's great. Okay, so far so good. But now you remember what we wanted it to do. We wanted to type in our own message and have the have the phone speak whatever that message is. In order to get it to do that, we're going to need one more user interface component. So go back over to the palette and look for something in the user interface called a text box. So the text box, you can drag that onto the screen just like you can a button. And a text box is just what it sounds like. It's a place where you can type in text. 
And um, over here, you can you can see that you can type something in the text box. So I can put like hi, and it'll start out with some text there. I kind of like just leaving it blank. Um, there's also a hint. I don't think you really need a hint, but you can leave it there. And um, okay, now when we go back over to our blocks, you'll notice we have a new component that shows up here. Okay, so one thing we can look for here is all of the different things you can do with a text box. Um, and what we're kind of looking for here is rather than speaking the message programming is fun, we need to be able to plug something else in there, right? Some other kind of message. So we're really looking for a block that kind of looks like this, right? Something that you can plug in there, but it doesn't make sense for the message to be the text box's background color. That's not what we want, throw that away. So we want to look for something that looks like a property of the text box you know, that has the text in it. And if you scroll down far enough, you'll see one that looks like this. So it's the text box one dot text, right? So it's it's text component. And that kind of lines up, if you look over here in the designer, all these different properties, they all kind of have a green block like that. So um, the text one, that's this. So whatever happens to be in the text box at that time is what shows up in the block as this green text box one dot text component. Okay, so I'm gonna throw away my old message. There we go. And we can try this one out. So you don't have to reconnect. If you've already connected it to App Inventor, you should just be able to look at your phone and notice that that text box is, text box is there. So we can type whatever we want in there. So let's type in hello and see if that works. Hello. It says hello, great. Uh, see, so can I say something else? Um, See if we can get it to say programming. Programming isn't just fun. It's cool. I'm making cool stuff here. Programming is cool. Programming is cool. All right. So there we go. We've made now an app that can say anything that you want it to say.